Hi. For episode 92 app of the week for the Blind Android Users Podcast, this is Demonstrating Daybridge. D-A-Y-B-R-I-D-G-E. Today, I'll be demonstrating for you Daybridge, a calendar app. In other words, if you're not happy with the calendar app that comes natively on your phone or the one you've downloaded either from Google or whatever, and you're not happy with it, you may want to give Daybridge a try. For today's demonstration, I'll be using my Pixel 6 Pro with Android 13 QPR1 Beta 1, and for the TTS engine, I am utilizing the Google Speech Services via the Auto TTS Language Switcher. I am on my home screen now and will navigate my way to the icon for Daybridge. Daybridge. Here is Daybridge, and I'll tap here to activate. Daybridge. Sign in with Twitter. Upon launching Daybridge, we heard sign in with Twitter. In other words, you could sign in using your Twitter account, or you could sign in with Google or with Apple. This is what I'm talking about. Sign in with Google button. Or sign in with Apple button. Those are your options. I will tab on Sign in with Google. Sign in with Google button. I'll tab here to activate. Google Play services on top. Google Play services on bottom. Google Play services. Choose an account. Launching or tapping on Sign in with Google were placed on a screen that asks us to sign in with a Google account that we would like to use this app for. I will tap on my username here and continue from here. Warren Carr, warcare at gmail.com. I'll tap here to activate. Google Play services on top, Google Play services on bottom. Daybridge. Back, button, in list. Tapping there now, we are highlighting the back button, which is found near the top left corner of the phone. I'll move my finger down from here. Tell us about you. We hear, tell us about yourself. We need to know a few things to set up your account. And? Warren Carr, edit box, full name. That's your name. Warren, edit box, first name. Next. Edit box, email address. Email address. So I'm going to tab here to enter my email address. Back. Tapping on that, I heard back, and if I put my finger down, there's a keyboard that has been popped up, but also alongside with that will be an autofill from which I could simply tap on my email address and fill in all the necessary field required. Workair at gmail.com, enlist, window autofill options. And I'll tap here. Editing, workair at gmail.com, edit box, email address. There's my email address, and now at the bottom of my keyboard, on the right, I'll find and tap on the Done button. Done. There keyboard hidden. Warcare at gmail.com, edit box, email address, in list. Next. Country region, region letter U, region letter S, United States, button. Next. Time zone, America, Los Angeles, button. I'm on Pacific time, so I'll leave that there. Next, you could tap in here if you're in a different time zone, but basically it will automatically detect your time zone and will just automatically pull that up. Next. Terms and conditions. We got the terms and conditions. Please confirm that you've read and agree to our terms and conditions and privacy policy. And to the right of that is a checkbox or a switch that is turned off by default, and you will need to tap on that to turn it on to say that you agree. Off, switch. And I'll tap here. On. And then, at the bottom. Create account button. There we go. Tap here to create account. Say hello to your new calendar. We are now on the screen with a little bit of an introduction. And at the bottom of the phone is the next button, or you could simply swipe from right to left with two fingers to move to the next page. I'll tap on the next button found at the bottom of the screen. 
Next button out of list. Second page. View your plans. Next. Next button out of list. Create categorized events in seconds in list. Next. Next button out of list. And. Share events with a tap in list. And at the bottom. Let's go button out of list. Let's go. Tap here. Button. Detected. Text W. Now we are in the main UI of the app and we heard detected text W. At the top, there's absolutely nothing there at the top, neither on the top left corner nor on the top right corner. At the bottom, however, we have some buttons and that's one of those that you heard. Starting from the bottom left and going to the right, we have the following buttons. Button. We have one that says button and to the right of that. Capital W. Capital W signifying my name. To the right of that. Fry, the 9th of September, button, button. Friday, the 9th of September. Next to the right of that. Select calendars, button. Select calendars. In other words, you could add different calendars, whether it's a Google Calendar, a Microsoft Calendar, and then to the right of that, we've got... Add event button. Add event. This is where you'll tap to create an event for your calendar. Now, let's go back to that button on the bottom left that says button. And I do want to mention here in passing that whether you tap on that one that simply says button or the one that says capital W for my name, it could be capital S or capital D, whatever your name may be, that's what that will show. And they are one and the same. In other words, tapping on that takes us to what looks like the open navigational drawer. I'll tap on one of these. Capital W. I'll tap on the one that says capital W. Back button. Tapping on that highlights the back button found at the top left corner. Below that, going down, we've got... Settings. Settings. And this settings is not necessarily something that you could tap on and go into the settings. Rather, it should have said settings heading because it's just like a header. Below that, we've got... Capital W, Warren. My name. Button, disabled, detected, text, W. Next. Account. Account, you could tap here to manage your account. Notifications. Notifications, you could go in here and do all the notification stuff. Connected calendars. Connected calendars. In other words, you can go in here and manage the calendars that you have added, whether it's a Google Calendar, Microsoft Calendar, or is there a Yahoo Calendar? Something like that. Next. Delete account. You can delete your account right here. App info. App info. Next. Help. Help. Slack community. There's a Slack community. Privacy policy. We got the privacy policy. Terms and conditions. We also have terms and conditions next. App version 1.4047. And the last item here is sign out. Sign out. I'll now go back to the main UI. Button detected text W. Let's now go to that last button on the bottom right, and that will be the Add Event, and see how we go about creating events. Add Event button. Tab here. Showing English US QWERTY. Back button. Tapping on Add Event, the keyboard pops up, and then we heard Back button, which is to the top left corner, and we'll go from there. Below that, we've got Choose Calendar, Personal button. Choose calendar, personal, or you could go choose business, and then to the top right corner. Save button. There's a save button, and that you save after you've chosen or created your event. Let's go down. Detected. Text plus. Text plus. 
That item there on the left that says text plus is an item that when we tap on will take us to categories. That is, we could go in, create or select a category that we're creating the event for because this thing is not just a calendar, but it has other social aspects to it. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So I'll tap here. Back button. Keyboard hidden. We heard that back again, followed by keyboard hidden. Let's keep going down. Choose category and icon. Choose category and icon. And then we have two tabs below that. Selected category tab one of two in list two items. We have the category tab, which is selected by default. And to the right of that is the icon tab. Icon tab two of two. Now going down. Edit box. Search for a category out of list. You could search for the category. If you don't want to go through the list, you could simply type in the category you're looking for. But let's go ahead though and see what some of these categories are. Entertainment in list. We have entertainment. Fitness. Family. General. Hobbies. Trips. Learning. Personal care. Social. Special occasions. Transport. Work. And that's the last item. Now let's go to the icons tab. You could simply tap on the icons tab near the top where we have those two categories, or rather two tabs, the categories tab and icons tab, or you could simply swipe from right to left with two fingers. I'll swipe from right to left. Icon selected. I am now in the icons tab. Now, basically, these are picture representations that you could add to the event. I'll show you some of these things that I'm talking about. Light aircraft button in list. Go right. Map button. Map pin button. Navigation arrow button. Passport button. Suitcase button. Taxi button. Train button. Truck button. Walk button. By now you understand all that this is about because if you chose something like travel or trip in the category, you may assign it to either an airplane, a truck, a taxi, or whatever for your icon. And they're arranged in grids and columns. Now I'll go back to the previous screen where we tapped on the plus that took us to the categories and the icons. Back button. There we go, it landed us on that back button near the top. And below that we have that icon thing that says plus. Detected, text plus. And then below that we have. Edit box, add title. Add the title. Let's tap this. Showing English US QWERTY. I'll call it Blind Android Users Podcast. P. Assistant voice typing. Listening. Blind Android Users Podcast. Suggested commands clear. Stop. Voice typing stopped. All right, I just dictated Blind Android Users Podcast. I'll put my finger to make sure I got that in there. Editing Blind Android Users Podcast. Edit box. There is our title. Below that, we've got on. It says on. Where is it? When is it starting? On what date? The 9th of September. Edit box disabled. We got the 9th of September. If I wanted it to be starting on the 9th of September, I'll leave that as is. But if it isn't, let's say I want to choose September 10th. I'll tap here. Keyboard hidden. Close sheet. At the bottom half of the phone is the calendar, basically dates and all of that. I'll find the tenth here. I'll put my finger down. 18, button, 9, 12, but 11, button, 10, button. There's 10, I tap. Back, button, out of list. And places me near the top again. I'll put my finger down toward the middle. The 10th of September, edit box, disabled. And to the right of that. Until. Until what date? The 10th of September, edit box, disabled. 
I'll leave it on that. Then below that we've got... From. From, that is what time? 7 p.m. Edit box. It says 7 p.m. And to the right of that... To. To what time? 8 p.m. Edit box. 8 p.m. Next, we got... Add location. Edit box. Disabled. Add your location. You could tap here to add a location if you are going to a particular location. Doesn't repeat. Edit box. Disabled. Does it repeat? You could tap here to choose it repeats or doesn't repeat by default. It doesn't repeat. September 2022. There we go. Next, if everything is okay, then all you need to do is tap on that Save Found near the top right corner. Save button. And that's where you will tap to save. If you don't want to save it, of course, if I go back, for example. Daybridge. Discard. I have a dialogue now asking if I wanted to discard this or not. Are you sure you want to discard your changes? And below that to the left is Discard. Discard button. And to the right is... Keep editing button. Keep editing. So I'm going to tap on Discard. Discard button. Daybridge button. I tapped Detected. on Discard. W. And now we're back to the main UI. And that's it about Daybridge. And you now know how to manage your Daybridge. D-A-Y-B-R-I-D-G-E.